in this video we will discuss kinetics which is the relationship between the change in motion of a body and the forces that causes its change by introducing Newton's second law of motion so Newton's second law of motion it states that a particle accelerates when introduced to an unbalanced force so a particle with a balance force will remain stationary or at rest or moving at a constant velocity if there is no unbalanced force that acts into it so let's further clarify that so a system let's draw a system with balance force so example we have here a block resting on a plane and acting is the weight the normal force and the frictional force here so with a balance force summation of forces is equal to zero meaning to say there is no movement the forces is in equilibrium or if there is a force acting like this one frictional force the force is not enough to create movement or to cause motion to the system so this is Newton's first law which states that a body will not accelerate if there is no external unbalanced force that is applied into it so let's create a system with unbalanced force so let's draw the same system we have your weight here the, the normal force and the frictional force so if we introduce load P here the tendency of this system if at the balance force P is being introduced is to move to a certain distance and your P will move at a distance S so there is a change in position so this can be this can be written through the equation of summation of forces is equal to mass times acceleration so it is the unbalanced force that causes acceleration to the system or to the 
particle or the, to the body. Okay, so let us first define what are those weight, frictional force, normal force. So we have first the mass and the weight. So the mass is a property of the matter that provides quantitative measure of its resistance to a change in velocity. So it is an absolute quantity. So this is an absolute quantity and it does not change. from one location to another well the weight is not an absolute quantity so this is the force caused by earth's gravitation so, it changes depending on the location. So, weight is equal to mass times acceleration or the gravity. So, G is the gravity which is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared in SI system. While it is on English, this is equal to 32.2 feet per second squared. Now, so we are clear with the weight. Normal force. So, Fn is the normal force. Normal force is the force that is perpendicular to the contact of surface of motion or pen perpendicular to the motion path and perpendicular also to the frictional force so we have the frictional force or the friction so that is the resisting force caused by the surface okay, so this is the force between the surface and the object so the um, tendency of the friction is to resist the direction of motion P is the applied force or the unbalanced force applied force that causes the unbalance so resulting to acceleration so let's solve a sample problem so the 50 kilogram crate rests on horizontal surface for which the coefficient of kinetic friction mu is 0 0.3 if the crate is subjected to a 400 newton towing force at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal determine the velocity of the crate in 3 seconds starting from rest now so let's try to draw the figure and the free body diagram so we have here a crate having a mass of 50 kilograms and it is towed by a 400 
Newton towing force at an angle of 30 degrees so the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.3 determine the velocity of the crate 3 seconds starting from rest so let's complete the free body diagram so the weight acts here so you have your weight that is equal to mass times the gravity on the opposite we have our normal force and here opposite of the motion we have our frictional force So, we are asked to solve for the velocity of the crate starting from rest so for the solution let us first solve for the values of these forces by the equation of motion we have summation of forces along x equals m a x so we have here summation of forces along x so we have 400 cosine 30 degrees so that is your x component here and your y component is here 400 sine 30 degrees so 400 cosine 30 degrees minus the frictional force equals zero so further simplification 400 cosine 30 degrees minus 0 0.3 times the normal force equals so this is not zero this is mass times acceleration so this is 50 times a x now this is our equation one summation of forces along y equals m a y so we have the weight so going down so negative so weight plus the normal force plus 400 sine 30 degrees equals so that this one mass times acceleration is zero because there is no vertical movement for the system so this is our equation 2 but we can further simplify this so weight is mass times gravity so that is 50 times 9.81 plus the normal force or negative plus 400 sine 30 degrees equals 0 that is your equation 2 so we have two equations and two unknowns from here we can solve for the value of the normal force your normal force equals 
fifty times nine point eighty one minus four hundred sine thirty degrees. So the normal force equals fifty times nine point eighty one minus four hundred sine thirty that is equal to 290.5 newtons now from this substituting the value of normal force to equation 1 we have 400 cosine 30 minus 0 0.3 times 290.5 equals 50 times AX so we have the acceleration at X or the acceleration since we have no Y component we have 400 cosine 30 minus 0.3 times 290.5 over 50 that is equal to 5.185 meters per second squared so now having the value of the acceleration and knowing that the system started from rest we can create an equation based on the equations of motion so we have V is equal to V O plus A, not G, but A, T. So, since we are looking for the velocity of the crate, 3 seconds starting from rest. So, V is equal to V, O is equal to 0. So, that is, we only have 80. So, that is 5.185 multiplied by 3 so your velocity is 5.185 times 3 so that is equal to 15.555 meters per second squared and that is going to the right so that is the velocity of the crate after 3 seconds so that's how we solve a problem involving kinetics of particles